Hey everybody, today we're gonna to talk about Oakley Prism Sport Lenses. See it in Prism. Hey everybody, this is Sunglass Rob from Sport RX and I'm here with our in-house Oakley ambassador, Andrew, to talk about the Oakley Sport Lens Collection. Real quick, if you want more information about all things Prism, we have an amazing blog down below. Or if you really wanna learn even more about the Sport Collection, we have a blog just on that. And we also have a video explaining all of Prism. But really, what all of Prism is, is the Sport family, the Everyday family, and the Snow family. But you probably wanna even know, what is Prism? Andrew knows, tell him. Prism is Oakley's patented lens technology that works by manipulating the light spectrum and boosting contrast to just make everything in your environment sort of pop with color and it makes details easier to pick up on. It's freaking amazing. If you haven't tried Prism yet, I you, you should. Like, it's just unfair. I feel like with Prism technology, we've taken more than two or three steps forward in lens technology. It's unreal. Basically what Oakley's engineers have figured out with the use of these different dyes is how to change the light coming in at different frequencies and different colors to boost the contrast and cut out the glare specific for the sport that you are doing. So when you put on the lens in the right environment, it's almost like an unfair advantage. You're seeing things other people aren't. You're seeing contrast that you never thought you could. It's just this incredible enhancement. It almost feels like there's a computer inside the frame telling the lens what to think and do and change. Um, or it almost feels like you put on a prescription that you didn't even know you had. Or if you get them in prescription, which we do, see that little plug? Um, like it that. almost feels like a better prescription. Like it's just unbelievable. You got to see it. You got to try it. Anyways, what we want to tell you about are the different Prism Sport Lens options. Andrew. All right, so we'll start off with Rode. We have a Rode Black Lens. And then we have Prism Rode Standard. Uh, we have, sorry, go over here. We have Golf and Dark Golf. And then we have both Deep Water and Shallow Water, as well as, what's this guy, Trail, and the new Trail Torch. And then this last guy is Prism Field. Should we talk about them all a little bit? I like to talk. I, th I think we should I'm because people don't know what specific yeah. sports these are. So if for. you're a roadie, a road cyclist, or if you're a runner, if you spend a lot of time on the road, or even for driving, I've heard of people using them. The traditional Oakley Prism Road lens has been out a few years and is available in prescription. And it just has like this really deep, it's almost weird to have a rose lens that's also like neutral. It doesn't feel like a lot of rose. It kind of has this soothing effect like you would assume a dark gray lens would have, but for sure it has some prism and it has some rose in it and it just soothes everything out. What I really like on this lens is you're really gonna see like if it's, a, if it's an overcast day, if you're run, if you're obviously the gray, the ground is gray, the shadows are gray, the potholes are gray. If it's a gray overcast day and you wear normal gray lenses, everything's gray and you don't get that pop. Yeah. With the prism lens, with the road lens, it's, it's like you see things a little bit faster in the road. It's quite amazing. I, I got these for a friend of mine who's a pretty avid road racer. And I was like, what do you think? He's like, it's almost like not fair. I wear one lens no matter what the conditions are. As long as it's not nighttime, Prism Road works on a road bike. It's pretty fantastic. So then they came out with the new one. What is it called? Right, so this is Prism Road Black. Yes. So again, aesthetically, you can see quite a bit of difference between that and the road. Here's what I think happened. It's basically the same base lens color. This one has kind of a red reflective iridium mirror coating, and this one has more of a neutral black coating. I think it's mostly an aesthetic reason that people just didn't want a red mirror lens if your kit's blue and your helmet's blue and you got a white and blue frame and you didn't want the red lens because it clashed a little bit. You don't have to have it anymore. I think functionally, it might be a hair darker, but not such a difference that you're gonna, it's, that's like not the, re, I, to me it's almost not the real reason to get the black. It is probably a little bit darker, but it's more of an aesthetic thing. I think you're getting almost the same functionality out of it. Does that make sense? It does, it does. And okay. then they kind of did a little bit of the, the same thing here. So we have yeah. Prism Golf, and then we have Dark Golf there. Why don't you throw on the Golf? I'll throw on Dark Golf. Yeah, the Golf came out originally, um, kind of by a long shot, like these came out kind of recently. Golf's a long been shot. Out. Yeah, I like ah, yeah, I didn't even 
Let's see how good I am. I didn't even, I didn't know what I did. Um, Prism Golf is going to be one of the most intense differences. When you put on Prism Golf, it is just like, like the lights just got turned on. It's bright. It pops in the showroom trying to show it to somebody. It's kind of hard to make sense of it because it's almost like brain overload. It is such a high contrast lens. I've never seen a lens make a golf ball pop as much. We actually did a test on an overcast day with three or four different lenses from different brands, including Oakley's, and nobody could find the ball once, once it went in the sky and it was white out and it was kind of gray and overcast. The only way you saw it was with Prism Golf. The only complaint that kind of came out, maybe not complaint, but feedback, was that in some conditions it was just too light. It didn't give enough glare protection. The contrast boosting, unarguably amazing right. but maybe not so good if it's phoenix and it's 100 degrees and you're playing at 11 a.m and like you're gonna sweat and you just need you want that contrast but you need darker so then came out prism is it golf dark or dark golf i always i say dark golf. dark golf prism dark yeah. golf so you're getting the same essence as far as the contrast and but it's definitely darker and you don't have as much of, this one's almost got like a greenish kind of reflective iridium thing happening. Mm -hmm. This one's a little bit more conservative, a little bit new, more neutral. It's kind of close to the old Oakley VR28 black iridium for your old schoolers out there, um, but it has that contrast and pop. I think since dark golf has come out, it started to outsell golf for us. It, it has, it's, yeah. it's become super, super popular. And we actually have a separate video comparing those two lenses oh, as yeah, well. Oh yeah, I think yeah. I was in that video. That was a good video. You were in Yeah, that. that was a cool video. All right, we should move on to the water lenses. Why don't I try on the turbine? Cause it's a big boy. And oh, this isn't the turbine. What is this? That's it's a split, split shot. shot. Yeah. I have that video. It's just missing the leash. I did that video too. Uh, so this is the split shot with the shallow water lens. Mm -hmm. And that is the flak jacket with the deep water lens. And these came out at the same time for specific different purposes. Why don't you break it down a little bit, Andrew? So deep water is obviously for your deep water environment. So you, if you're doing uh, deep sea fishing or going boating and the water is going to be a lot deeper, these really work to filter out and kind of help you see through through just the, uh, the, the sea, pun intended, the sea of blue. Yeah. Um, everything there kind of helps to filter it out. Whereas the shallow water is meant for more inland uh, lakes and streams uh, fishing there. So you'll be able to spot fish um, a little bit easier, see the whites of the fish kind of through uh, their different hiding spots that they use to kind of kind of get away from you as you're trying to catch them. Yeah, very different environments. I mean, I think to the layman or somebody not so involved with fishing, you're fishing, you need polarized, leave me alone. But that's not the case. There's very different equipment for different types of fishing, different fishermen, anglers that are into different kinds of fishing. And there really should be different lenses for when you're out in the ocean and everything's just, you're out exposed and the, the sky and the sun and the water. It's pretty intense. You need a very protective lens. And then it's very different when you're under a sh it's shadow covering and it's um, sh more shallow water and it's murky water. So these have different aesthetics and different levels of darkness as well as they should. And that's another thing I love about Prism is they really thought it through on getting the exact right lens technology and frequencies for your exact environment. Mm -hmm. And one other thing to mention, both the shallow water and deep water are polarized. Yes, yeah. So and out of the sport collection, they're the only mm -hmm. polarized ones. And then why don't we move on to my favorite. I'm really into mountain biking, so I'm a huge fan of Prism trail lenses. The Prism tr Torch Trail? Trail Torch. Trail Torch. torch trail. Um, just came out. I'm really excited to try those. As of this video, the Torch version's not yet available in prescription, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. Uh, but by the time you're watching this, it might be. We're hoping it's gonna be sooner than later. Here's how I explain Prism Trail to my mountain biking friends. Up until Prism Trail came out, I have tested I don't know how many hundreds of pairs of mountain biking lenses for every different brand, different lenses, our own lenses, lenses I've come up with. I've never, like, it's such an extreme sport with such varying conditions with shadows and lights and rock gardens and technical terrain. And in San Diego, we kind of get this like kitty litter, gravelly, dusty. It's like, there's so much going on and every single movement can be the difference of falling and not falling. Sometimes at speed, sometimes in rock gardens, like it's serious and seeing everything is super important. 
And a lot of mountain bikers complain about glasses, some don't wear glasses. It's because up until Prism Trail, I never found anything that was better than neutral, meaning it didn't harm you. Lenses too dark very quickly harm you. I feel like polarized lenses very quickly harm you on the trail. I never found a lens that was actually an asset, that actually helped, that actually improved. Now I have to wear glasses because I wear a prescription. So like, and I work at SportRx and I like saying that those lenses didn't like actually make it better was hard to say out loud. But once Trail came out, it's like, it actually makes everything better and brighter. I will say the caveat that it's another one of those like golf, very intense lenses. You put on Trail and it's like, what just happened? Yeah. It's freaking intense. But when you get in those shadows and you get in those tree covers, it's pretty ridiculously nice to have it. Yeah, um, and then the torch version, I think is two things. One is aesthetic and also it's a little bit darker, which I'm okay with because on some conditions trail, we're in Southern California, even though you go through some shadow and covers, a lot of it's open and exposed. You do need something a little bit more protective sometimes. Um, some people have more light sensitive eyes. So the torch I think is gonna do really well. It has that same kind of base, that same kind of intensity, but it's a little more protective. It's a little bit darker. And I think people are gonna like the aesthetics a lot as well. Oh yeah, I think yeah. that one looks really cool. Okay, so then the last one to go over is field. Let's do it, That's prison field. Baseball. It is. So this, this lens is designed for baseball, as Rob said. It's gonna really help you uh, track the ball. Uh, the white of the ball against the blue of the sky. So if you're trying to catch a, a pop fly or if you're tracking the ball coming in, ground ball hit to you. And it works on, on the other side too, if you're up at bat, incoming pitch, that, that white of the ball is just able to be picked out from all the, the surrounding colors in that field environment. It's pretty dope. Um, we sell it really well. It's kind of like if you're playing baseball and you're not sure what lens to get, it's it's obvious and that's the kind of whole thing about the whole collection is it's really user friendly they've done the 15 years of research they've played with all the light spectrums they have the lensometers they have the spectrometers they have kind of everything and they've really made it like this is the right color for these conditions for your sport which is just so fun and easy and, and it works i've been using all of them in these different conditions and i stand behind it 100 percent that was a lot of information. Yeah. I think the other thing we got to mention is prescription. Most all of these are available in prescription as of this video, like we said, tr trail torch and also black road, not yet, but yeah. maybe by the time you're watching this, it is available. Oh, I'm also st still waiting on shallow water. Come on guys, get it to us. We need it. Anyways, <laughs> hope this video was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up. We'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have a prism lens that you love, if you have a prism story you want to tell us, if the contrast helps you see a pothole that you avoided, please give us the story down below in the comment section. Later.